Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvaldo Grimm here and boy oh boy is this a long video but trust me I have compiled the very best fights throughout the last month of me playing uh, tier 7 and tier 8 raids and all the fights that you'll see here are personal records so it's all going to be good stuff. You might have clicked this just because of the uh, tier 7 one shot to phase 1 and it's going to be here but look you might have clicked just for that one you might be interested just in that one so timestamps for that in the description, though I promise the whole video is going to be entertaining nevertheless. And this video is recorded before I fixed my problem uh, with uh, no audio on fights and some of the fights are after, so if there's no sound in some fights, it's because of that and I'll make sure to put some music while I talk over them, so it's not an awkward silence when I don't talk. And if you enjoyed this, please do uh, subscribe, comment down below with whatever you want, and uh, if you want to see those happening live and also want to see the bad fights, because there's a lot of those that I have not included in this video, check Check out the live stream channel in the description. With that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so over here we're using King uh, Gorla Grot and Shazam versus uh, Gorla Grot, pretty much. And yeah, like the improvements that I could do to this team is having a better All Blades on King because the All Blades on this count has little attack damage. That was the best thing I could get, and this King has no little attack chance. And even if he had, it doesn't stack properly. So yeah, it's going to be just a raw All Blades. And uh, the Gorla Grot is going to be just level 40 gears. Not even a great build for that. So that's something that could be improved. And of course, I could use All Blades on Grot to increase the damage but yeah so we're we're pretty far into the fight already we're going to do a fat super move in there that 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 actually kept at 3 million being the maximum we could deal okay gun try to take this dude in the corner it was a pretty risky tagging but honestly uh gorla Grot, even though he sometimes can go crazy on you and be hard to manage there's some uh, crazy risky taggings you can do against him if you uh, manage to spot those uh, points where you can tag him like that Gorilla Grot back in, ring age the combo, backing off, ring age the combo, and yeah, uh, the option was either Shazam or Just League Flash, and for Soul Raids, might as well pick Just League Flash with this team, but in normal raids, okay, okay, that was that was something weird that happened over there, but uh, thankfully we recovered and we didn't lose our king, I don't know what happened there. But yeah, uh, back to the topic, in normal raids, actually the attack from Shazam is pretty damn huge, that he gives you with the passive, so it's definitely worth it using Shazam over here. Backing off, re-engage the combo, he's in the corner so he didn't even need fire box here, but we need fire box for when he's not in the corner obviously. A 40 hit special tree in there, Gorilla Grot back in, backing off, swipe right, tap two times, swipe right, with a tap at the end to do the ghost tap. Special tree, swipe right, tap two times, swipe right and tap once into a ghost tap, so we get the guaranteed tag in. And keep doing this combo pretty much, I don't know what I did previously so that I messed up this combo, but look, it happened, okay? Gorla Grot back in, re-engage the combo, and yeah, I don't think I should have tagged Grod in here, I think I should have kept King and backed off and re-engaged the combo and maybe into another special tree, but yeah, it is what it is, and it's 30 million damage, it's not the highest ever recorded in this fight, like far, very far from it with, with the King team, but yeah, it's my personal best, so yeah, it is what it is. Now we're going to use the Batman Ninja team against this fight. And yeah, I know against Gorilla Grot, ideally you want to use uh, all blades on both Gorilla Grot and Catwoman and uh, tag them in and out and use special ones to deal the damage. But my pet manager team is not really built that, uh, that way and for that matter Gorilla Grot is not really built at all. So that won't be really an option here. And I don't even remember which account I'm using over here because that Gorilla Grot might as well not have uh, any builds on. Though we're stacking uh, stuff pretty quick and uh, a lot of uh, combos, so I guess it's the account with the build Gorilla Grot. Bring the combo, Ketoman back in there for a special 3. Actually for a special 2. Again, people always ask me and I always explain this, why are you using the special 2 Sigvald? It's crappy damage. Yes, but that crappy damage applies on some dot on Gorilla Grot, but Sigvald, that dot damage is also crappy damage. Yes, but that dot triggers little attack hits and the little attack hits trigger the uh, Batman Ninja Robin passive increasing my little attack damage when the uh, dot jumps out of Grot. So yeah, that, that's, that's why I do it and that's how it works. You're welcome. That special tree in there. And yeah, with uh, the Batman Ninja team, uh, you're going to deal huge amounts of damage if you do something where you hit both uh, a little and a crit. But that's uh, kind of rare because you got the 75% crit chance and the 60% lethal attack chance. So um, it's not 
amazing gods to get uh, each one of them separately, but to get both of them at the same time, it's even far lower odds. Get them back in. Going for a full combo. Special tree in there. Like, what I want to try over here against this dude in future fights, since he is combo interruptible, even though you have to do it perfectly, is to... Tag in uh, Catwoman, straight into a special tree, then uh, combo interrupt him and do some combo in tagging Grot. Because, look, if we do that, we're going to do the combo anyways, but after the special tree, so it's going to count for the next special tree, so you pretty much deal the same amount of combo and basic attacks. But using special tree upon tagging rather than after I have finished the combo means that um, we do stand a pretty good chance to do that on uh, four um, tab stacks, which will be ideal. Grot back in, re-engage the combo over here, Catwoman back in, 40 hit combo, special tree in there. Okay, that re that 300 damage is not good, like that's that's either only a crit or only a lethal, I think it's only a, a crit there. Okay, okay, the 1 million damage on special tree, that's what we want to ideally see. But now look back on the fight and tell me how often did we deal 1 million damage on the last hit of the special tree. That's the ideal amount of damage. Now, go back and let me know how much uh, often that happens, because not very often. But yeah, this is the fight, and again, again, it's not even comparable to other people's performances over here, but 26 million, it's okay. It's okay for uh, my Catwoman and the state that they're in. So we're going to use um, Silver Bench over here. Special two in there to start things off. Reverse Lush in. Backing off, and yeah, like, over here I was switching between tier 7 and tier 8, Dr. Fates, and uh, in tier 7, Dr. Fates is very different, he's going crazy on you. So, over here I was like, why is he so chill? And that's uh, what made me lose some damage, because I was playing a little bit too careful. Another special one in there. Power Girl in, taking the super move. ring the combo with Power Girl. Sword Banshee in, special tree in there. Backing off. Okay, now that his super move is gone, we're going to reach the optimal amount of damage uh, after we get him into the corner. Because in the corner, you're going to be guaranteed that if you swipe back, he will uh, swipe towards you. If not, he might swipe back. Uh, he, mi he might swipe uh, backwards. But uh, if he's in the corner, he can only swipe towards you. So that's some linear experience. But so far, we're getting pretty lucky. Yet again, he's chill because this is tier 8, not tier 7. And uh, yeah. Over here, as long as I do perfect gameplay, the only thing that we rely on is the crit luck. Which so far is not great, so far is not great. Bring engage the combo with Reverse Flash. Sword Banshee in, special tree, okay, okay, that crit luck is really not great. Why is this paper over here, Sigval? You got terrible crit luck so far. How, how is this a decent amount of damage? Trust me, it will be. We're going to get a little bit more luck in terms of crits later on. Reverse Flash back in. Doing some combo, Silver Banshee in before the last hit, special tree in there, 3 million damage, that's what I want to see, that's what we should see the entirety of the fight, but it's not a constant, unfortunately. Okay, and now 3 million. We're kind of getting back uh, that crit like that we missed at the start. Kind of evening the odds. Another special, another crit, 3 million, I love to see that, you love to see that, that that's the good stuff to deal with Silver Banshee. Reverse slash back in, Silver Banshee. Another 3 million, let's go, let's go. I mean, at this point we're getting to a pretty even crit uh, chance. We're getting, oh, oh, never mind. The 1.1 million on an uncrit, it's not something that I'll say no to. But we're pre evening out, oh, oh, never mind, never mind. It's, go it's going bad on the crits. Like, I think after this bit somebody calculated in the chat and we had a total of a 60% crit chance overall. Which is not great, since I have a 75% on Silver Banshee, and that should be reflected more, but it's RNG at the end of the day. Okay, another non-crit, come on, come on. Come on, this is... Uh, yeah, 3 million, there, there we go. And last one is going to be a non-crit, uh, that's fine, that's fine, okay, I'll take it. And the total amount of damage for this one is going to be... Uh... 
Look, we're waiting a bit over here because at this point on last time I was asking the chat, let me know how much damage you think this was. And I was like not pressing it for them to have time to let me know how much damage they think I dealt. And I was thinking about cropping the video, then you might be like, oh, you just uh, stick an, an, another person's or another pip damage in there. But nah, I didn't cut it. 38 million damage. And with the amount of crits that we got, that's actually really not bad. That's, that's really good with the amount of crits that we got. I'm very happy with that one. Okay, now getting into a scarecrow pep. Again, after watching this, you might be like, Sigval, this is this is pathetic. People are one shot in stereo. Yeah, they do have beta club. I don't, okay? Stop bullying me in terms of that one. And yeah, unfortunately, here I didn't manage to use the special two at the start of the fight with Catwoman, which uh, puts me at a very high risk of. Uh, dying and not dealing any damage, but thankfully she got tagged back in. Okay, a special 2 was done on her, which is actually great because that damaged our other two characters, meaning they will die fast. If any new players are watching, that, that's what you should do against Scarecrow, get your other two characters killed fast. I mean, as fast as possible, actually, so uh, that uh, you remain with only one active damage dealer, because that's the way you play it. You don't want to be tagged in and out whenever he wants, and you don't want damage split amongst your team. But yeah, this was a very lucky start. Usually, it takes 15 more seconds for the whole team to die. So even though it looked pretty bad at the start, this was a pretty good redemption story, and uh, we actually got uh, some pretty good RNG on the death of the other characters. Special tree in there. Again, against uh, targets that are combo interruptible over here, when you play uh, Catwoman as a solo damage dealer, meaning you don't tag in and out, uh, it's ideal that you do two combos before a special tree for the most part in most scenarios, because you deal a huge amount of damage on basic attacks already, and uh, the uh, special tree is going to fare far better in the, on a 40 hit combo. That's uh, which is what you actually get uh, at with the two uh, with the double hits. Over here I might be like, well, Sigvel, but sometimes you don't do two combos for a special tree. Well, yes, because I have to be mindful of the lethal attack chance that's going to run out. So, I, in an ideal scenario, I do two combos before the special tree, but sometimes I do only one combo or half a combo, depending on uh, the circumstance at that point before doing the special tree. Because we still need to hit a lethal. Okay, well, over here it's an exception. Because we did a special two, but yeah... Another special tree in there. And again, if the lethal chance is not active uh, while the special tree is being done, then you're not going to do a huge amount of damage if you don't have max lethal already, of course. Which is an option, though. Re-engage the combo. Blocking, re-engage the combo. Another special tree in there. Again, same uh, business as usual with keeping the special two active. That increases our lethal attack damage. Over here it also heals us, which is great, I guess. So we didn't need it. Just at the start. At the start, yes, we need it. But other than that, we didn't need the healing. So we're mainly doing it for uh, the additional damage. Not a fat special tree in there. Re-engage the combo. And the last special tree of the fight, I think. Okay, we managed to get some a little bit of less damage in there. And 20 million. Like, look, look, listen, wh when I started playing in Just 2 Mobile again, when I came back to the game, there were people, before the Beta Club stuff, there were people on YouTube, like, for example, We Nightmares, that what I was watching, and I was like, holy shit, that man dealt 20 million damage with Catwoman on uh, Scarecrow, and he did more than that. I think it was 25 or something in that video. I was like, holy shit, that's amazing. And I'm like, oh, I did that. Now, now, now that that's great, I guess. So yeah, it's pretty rewarding to see uh, that happen, I guess. Okay, now uh, we're going to use King here. I haven't used King here in a while, so my I might be a little bit rusty. We're using a level 10 class of Horus, of course. The uh, Firebox would be safer, but it's less damage, so not gonna bother with that one. We are to go balls deep or we don't. Okay, now this is not a great start, okay? This is not a great start because um, our king got very low. You shouldn't uh, let uh, Scarecrow use abilities on your other two characters. You need to block those even though you need the other characters to die because there's too much damage spilling out to king. So over here, literally one mistake will kill us before he does the super move. We need to stay alive until he does the super move. Doing a swipe down to get some more energy until he does it. And this actually paid off real good. This actually paid off real good. 
and uh, he eventually ends up doing the super move. We end up regenerating a lot of health over here, and we re-engage the combo. Even though it was not the best start, it we actually avoided the dangers of this fight, so... From this point, it's all smooth sailing, to be honest. I mean, uh, we didn't die, so that's great, and we got our characters killed fast, and we got uh, the uh, special tools from Classic Superman. It's going great so far. Combo interrupting, going for yet another special trick in there. A little bit too high combo, but uh, there's nothing I can do about it. There's no way I can generate power faster at the moment. So we'll, ha we'll go over 50 on some special trees, I guess. Combo interrupting again into another special tree. We're at max sex. And we ideally shouldn't do super move over here. A smart player wouldn't do the super move, but I'm um, obviously not a smart player, so... We're gonna use the super move here. But yeah, this puts you in danger of uh, Scarecrow doing some nasty stuff, but we were able to re-engage perfectly here, I think. We, we got very lucky after doing that super move over there, so th this actually absolutely had zero detriment. That was one of the greatest super moves done ever on uh, Scarecrow with zero repercussions, I guess. Another special tree in there, re-engage the combo. Combo interrupting again. And yeah, at this point, I've combo and dropped this character so many times that it's honestly easy. It's easy at this point. I, I, I could do it even with my eyes closed at this point. I think I done it once on the last stream, but it was in Soul Raids. But yeah, learn your combo interruption, kids. It's it's an essential part of the game. Practice it in the story mode. There's a lot of fights, for example, Harley vs. Scarecrow. You can practice it there. And this is the uh, last uh, special of the fight. And we ended up with all of... 22.8, not bad for a king pip over here with no beta club. Now we're going to get into some multiverse fights. The multiverse team, uh, it's uh, in my opinion one of the hardest uh, fights to learn, really. So uh, this has various results, like most of the time I deal above 20 million damage, which is great I guess. But this pip, it went a little bit beyond that, it went beyond my expectations and some all my viewers expectations obviously. Okay, Multiverse Summer Spiggle in there, backing off, flashback in. Re-engage the combo, and something that I do to guarantee the tag in the red hood, I tag Multiverse Summer Spiggle in here into a special line instead of a special tree. I combo, okay, 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 okay. Never mind, never mind, I usually combo interrupt this dude. I usually combo interrupt, okay, this, this didn't go well. Like, I didn't even know which one of the pips was, I just looked at the damage at the end, it was a good amount of damage, so trust me on this one, this will go well despite the, uh, Unfortunate happening so far. Ringage the combo with flash, and yeah, we're doing just uh, we're doing the four all blade stacks strategy, where we kind of do our best uh, to. Uh... Okay, we got rid with kill there, tanking the super move. But yeah, the strategy is uh, kind of uh, tailored around uh, getting uh, the most optimal amount of all blade stacks on a special tree with Multiverse Armored Supergirl. So we kind of cut off parts of the uh, flash combo and of the uh, Multiverse Armored Supergirl basic attacks so that we try to pretty much tag it out as much as possible. So we'll obviously have a lower combo, but we'll uh, have four all blade stacks active when we use the special tree. That's gonna be some damage. And yeah, considering that this one didn't actually go well that much and look I've had fights that went far better than this one I guess uh, the reason why we had the highest amount of damage on this one was we got lucky on the crits I guess so did you well played lucky special one in there flashback in re-engage the combo combo in trapping and from this point uh, I mean from some time ago I think it should go smooth we should have perfect gameplay because I really got this part of the fight and in other fights, I really got the Red Hood tagging in part as well, but uh, not in this one, it seems like. But we're going to get crazy luck on the crits, it seems, considering that this was the highest one. Multiverse Armor Spell in, straight into a special tree, backing off, re the combo, special one in there. There we go, perfect, smooth, okay, okay, this happens, this happens, it's okay, that's, that's why you got the Flash passive in there, to help you out with that one. Backing off, re the combo with Flash, combo interrupting again. Multiverse Summer Spill and Fat Special Tree in there. 1.3 minute. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see on every single special tree. Straight into a special tree. Backing off. Ring the combo. Special one in there. Flash in. Please come on. There we go. Straight into a combo. Like you get a guaranteed combo on um, Captain Cold when you tag in. Uh, 
after the special trade by 20 seconds, after a special one, there's no guarantee. But it's okay, you get the passive to counter his abilities if that happens. Flashback in. Again, we got all blades on flash as well, even you, though you might not be able to see it because of the buffs. So we got all blades on flash as well to increase his damage because he's tanky enough already and he's not taking much damage throughout the course of this fight. And his damage on basic attacks deals some significant amount of damage. Like, he's not built as the best flash in the world in terms of dealing damage, but uh, it is what it is. And we ended up with a total of... 26 million damage, yeah, this didn't go very well, but honestly, I got very lucky on the crits. I had fights that went far better, but the crits were not there. Okay, so we're going to uh, play tier six, bra tier, uh, tier 7 Brainiac over here. And we're gonna try to one-shot it. I mean, one-shotting him is really no problem in tier 7. One-shotting this dude is absolutely no problem, I can do that. The only problem is that my... Let's have a Joker dies before I get going with the combo with uh, Poison Ivy. Like, after I get that going, there's nothing that can prevent me from one-shotting him. But until then, nah. We die a lot. Okay, re-engage the combo over here with Let's have a Joker. Poison Ivy in instead of Brainiac. At this point, you should kill Brainiac, but I'm playing it safe. Because uh, I don't want my Let's have a Joker to die, because it happens a lot. Okay, Brainiac in. Gonna take a fast special 2 to the face. And yeah, from this point it should be all smooth sailing, I guess. Ivy in. Okay, uh, let's have Joker in. We still haven't gotten the combo going, but it's okay. We'll get it eventually. There we go. Poison Ivy in, and from this point it should go well. Mid combo tag in. Let's have Joker into special 2 in there. Bring the combo. And again, my uh, Last Savage Joker is not really built. Like, almost not, not not built that much. I wouldn't say not built that but not built that much. So even if I had perfect gameplay, I could not. I simply wouldn't have enough damage to one-shot uh, Tier 8. But Tier 7 is fair game, my dude. Tier 7 is fair game indeed. Fast Special 2 in there. Ring the combo. Was oh, Navy back in. Backing off. He does a ranged attack, which is kind of weird. But yeah, Special 2 in there. Re-engage the combo. Another special 2 in there. Re-engage the combo. Poison Ivy in. A few taps. Backing off all blocking. Re-engage the combo. Mid combo tag in. Fat special 2 in there. Going back in. Into another special 2. Going back in again. And yeah, we are going to one shot with quite a lot of time left actually. But again, if this was Tier 8, that time wouldn't have been enough to one-shot him. And we would have dealt significantly lower damage because he has more armor in Tier 8. And my last average Joker, unfortunately, does not have armor pierce on basic attacks. But there's other things I need to do right now with my um, credits. Okay, so over here, I get so excited that I forget we're in Tier uh in Phase 2. So my specials can be disabled. So over there, try to do a special 2. And that was luck, obviously, so we died. But that's fine, that's fine. We one shot it phase one in tier seven, ladies and gentlemen. This is this I think this is my biggest accomplishment. Uh, this is the biggest accomplishment of my life. Maybe except for getting girlfriends, but yeah. Uh, that, that that's great. That's that's a that's quite a fulfilling experience. And over here we're just going to fool around with Brainiac over here for a little bit. And kind of try to do some uh, combo interruption, test something out, like, the, I don't care at this point, look, we one shot it, dude, I don't care. There we go, ladies and gentlemen, and I think this was my, uh, I mean, this is my best League of Runkeeper from, I mean, we dealt more damage in tier 8, but look, we one shot Brainiac in tier 7, so I'll take that. But yeah, the last fight will be something that you might not expect to see here. Phase 2 is not something that's usually entertaining. Phase 2 is something that you sometimes have to do because your league tells you to and you hate them for it. But something somebody has to do it. But this one went pretty well. I, I fought Phase 2 so many times. Like, I got two accounts and one of them is going to go on Phase 2 duty regardless of the raid. So I'm playing every single raid. I'm playing King in Phase 2. So I'd say I've become an expert of uh, playing King in Phase 2. I'd say I I can read Brainiac. I, I can't tell if Brainiac can do a special 2 before. Can, can do any specials before he's gonna do them. And I can re-engage the combo if not with Firebox. And I think Firebox is hands out the best artifact for tier 2 because it's going to allow you a lot of mobility. 
and uh, get you out of lots of situations. So yeah, we got the ideal situation. Like, look, with this strategy, you can get your special tree locked, which is obviously not ideal, and it happens sometimes. But the, the, the risks of the job, I guess. But over here, you didn't get locked, so it's the best outcome. Bring here's the combo. And yeah, we're playing it a little bit risky, like I could back off a lot more and uh, only re-engage the combo uh, if I felt safe, which is what we're going to do here, actually. For a while, until it gets some more health. But sometimes you can just back off and take it, because Firebox is going to regenerate a lot of health for you. Re-engage the combo again. My man seems to be building towards a super move, which is fine. I don't mind it that much. Re-engage the combo, and we're going to go into a special 2 before he does a super move, because that's too much energy for our health. We're going to be fine with less health. And yeah, to my surprise, we didn't die. Usually I die to that. Usually I die to that, but usually I play tier 8, so this is uh, tier 7. So his super move didn't kill me for some reason, and I'm like, oh boy, oh boy, did, did, you, did you screw up over here, my dude Brainiac? And yeah, what's happening here, even though it'll take me some time to figure it out, is that it's that bug again, like sometimes, not not often, really, really not often, but sometimes Brainiac can uh, get uh, bugged in the way that he doesn't use any specials after he uses the super move, which is obviously great if it happens to you, and it happened to me over here, so we're going to be able to go to town on him. And yeah, the, the rest of the, this fight is pretty much just bullying him at this point. He's not going to use any specials. So yeah, this was a very long video. So thank you so much to every single one of you who, who watched all of it. I really hope you found it entertaining. I really do. really hope you found it entertaining. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed it. It helps much more than you can imagine. If you want to see those fights live, because I live stream every day, please do check out the live stream only channel. Links will be in the description. And yeah, with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. But before that, let's take a look at the damage. That's pretty decent for a face steal. Look, that's decent.